I would love to see Fifth Street revitalized and bring back some of the um, old uh, traditions that we had there, of course, with a new twist. Welcome to Freeport. My name's Cletus Ranieri Burke, and I was born and raised in Freeport and have returned after a hiatus in Washington, D.C. and Virginia. And this is my partner, Nancy Albert. Um, we have opened CN Antiques on Market, LLC, in May of 2018. We were um, in a business together um, as uh, a previous antique shop in Saxonburg, Pennsylvania. And whenever they had closed, we partnered together and thought this would be a great community to bring antiques and collectibles to the town and um, just another business within this community. Freeport, when I was a child, um, was a thriving town with drugstores and banks and uh, dry goods stores. And of course, the Shoop uh, Men's Store was also an integral part of this town. Um, there were restaurants, um, and Main Street, which is Fifth Street, um, used to be a bustling area for shopping and just, you know, living. Unfortunately, with the, the advent of Natrona Heights uh, Plaza, uh, things kind of slowed down in Freeport. People got older, and some of the businesses closed. But we, they're starting to revitalize Freeport some with a few new businesses. However, I think that, you know, with our river, which is a, a very important part of our uh, community, um, they built a, a community dock and we draw people from Oakmont and Pittsburgh and up the river um, during our September by the River festivities and also the spring uh, fling open house here. Yeah, we felt that uh, Freeport was a growing community that we thought it would be revitalized and that's why we thought it'd be a great place for us to um, start our own business here and try to bring more people into the town and appreciate some of the uh, treasures that we have found and brought into the, sh in, into the community. Well, I was born and raised here and it was always a very friendly community. Um, people joined together. As a child, we had parades and uh, Halloween parades and Christmas parades, and it had a real community spirit. Um, some of that has waned um, in the past few years. Um, so I think that having HGTV come in and try to revitalize some of the, the buildings and the facades and uh, help the community along and focus on the river, because that is an integral part of our community, um, it would really do well for Freeport. Yes, absolutely. I feel that Freeport, um, the river brings in a lot of the summer with the boats and everybody here is super friendly and that's why we actually chose to be a part of this community and to just uh, unite with the locals and try to bring more people into this great little historic town. And one of the historic buildings is the Shoot Building, as she mentioned, that's right on Fifth, fifth at the North. corner. It's a beautiful building. If if somebody would take that and bring that back to life, I think that would really help the community thrive. I see that there could be a coffee shop, a a, a bakery, a another old time pharmacy with the soda counters or with ice cream and so forth for the community. That's why we came here. We're we're hoping to get other businesses to see what we saw in this community and. Um, be a part of it and help it get back on the map.